and they can do it from possibly go to the penalty if you want and they have power play out of it. It's terrible. It's talking about the penalty itself and it's wrong. Yeah, I wasn't sure about the penalty. Like, this is a hard, this is a weird play. I was trying to, I don't know, try to skate in front of that guy and my stick hit his face. It's unfortunate. They got ref saw it. And trust me, in that box, I was, uh, I was praying. I was trying to make sure, well, hoping that they don't score on that. And then luckily when I got out of the box, I got a breakaway. And yeah. Now, did you call for it or did OC just? I think he didn't see me at first and then he, he was about to clear it. And then he kind of like slowed his motion down. I think that's what I saw from the ice. That's why the pass was in like really, <laughs> really sharp. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I was trying to make sure that I don't get offside. And then I was thinking about my move, but then didn't get him uh, again. Didn't get time to do my move. I was just, I just shot it. Uh, the first two periods, obviously, you guys were not yourself. And it was some shots. You know, <laughs> the play was really choppy. Mm -hmm. What did you see or feel through that? Uh, I give credit to the other team. They, they put a lot of puck on net, uh, have a lot of guys going to the net. So it's hard to, for us to make sure nothing goes in and taking care of the rebound, taking care of our own D zone first. Uh, they came out really strong. I mean, good for them. But yeah, we we were res resilient. We uh, protect our net first, and then win the other. Two, two games here, two wins, and you only allowed a single goal. Um, talk about the goalies, I guess. And the team. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Frankie, Frankie and Camps are uh, doing a really good job. I think uh, by alternating, it gives them a little rest and a chance to really uh, perform. Uh, they were really strong in those two games and. Yeah, for sure, they, they're a big part of our, of our team. But I thought we did a good job, obviously, of uh, uh, doing what we had to to defend. Um, you know, we're used to having the puck for long stretches of the time, and that wasn't really the case uh, tonight, but we found a way to, to win in a different style. And, that's really important. So these, these two games kind of answer a lot of people around the league. They ask so good, but the goal thing is question mark. These two games, I think, kind of answer that, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've just been uh, finding different ways to win hockey games, just going out there, not worrying about, obviously, that kind of talk and just going out and trying to keep building my game and, and uh, keep doing what I have to to help the team win. Just overall thoughts about the two games. Yeah, yeah, come on the road and, uh, you know, both opponents that we played were, were ready to go and played really good hockey and we, uh, we found a way to win. And um, like I said, when we can win in different ways, uh, that's going to make us even better. And, um, you know, I think we're proving that we can do that. Jared said that you came back from the wild game. Sunday or Monday? Was it? I can't remember. But, um, you said that the next day after you left that game, yeah, uh, it was more whiplash than anything. Just the way kind of my head snapped back and uh, my neck was uh, was pretty sore, but I was able to get some good treatment. And uh, obviously, we had a day off uh, the next day, and then flew. And uh, yeah, you know, I responded pretty good to the treatment, and I was able to get back uh, back in the lineup. Did you see a replay of that play? And if so, are you surprised that it wasn't some kind of penalty? Um, yeah, I saw a replay. Um, it is what it is. It's over with now. Obviously, uh, I got hit in the head and really didn't feel good and took me out of the game. So uh, uh, it could have been a, a big swing, but luckily Frankie came in and did an unbelievable job and, and uh, got us the win. The matter of it's not how it's, it's put the same. Yeah, you got to find a way. Yeah. yeah. I mean, for me, yeah, like that we were not good through two periods. Um, even just the simplest of uh, tasks, plays, breakouts, regroups, we just we were not moving the puck efficiently. We were beating it up. Um, and, and to me, that's a sign of fatigue. We didn't, didn't look like we had a lot of energy. I could tell from our bench we had a lot of guys that were fighting the puck, um, looked like we were low on energy. And it's understandable. It is what it is. We knew that was going to be a tough one coming into it. I think that's our third back-to-back -back in 11 days. Um, fifth game in seven days, lots of travel, road games. Um, 
but we found a way to, we got great goaltending um, from start to finish, give her, gave us a chance. We found a way to play with the lead. Um, even when it was ugly, we, we got some timely goals. We got a good big power play goal early, early to get on the board. PK was excellent again tonight. Um, and we had a talk after the uh, second period uh, and just said, you know, we got to just come together. We got to find a way to get it done. It's ugly. So we got to simplify it and not try to do all the things that we normally do when we're full of energy and we're executing at a high pace. We weren't doing that tonight. They were making it difficult on us or they defend really well. And um, you just got to, you know, stay together in a pack and, and, and take care of the puck better than we did in the first two periods. And we did that. I liked our third period. It was simple. Every puck we touched in the D zone in the third period, we managed to get it out at least into the neutral zone. We were advancing the puck through the neutral zone better and putting it in behind their D and getting a little four check going. In the first two periods, we weren't doing that. They had us on a three-quarter ice game for the bulk of the first two periods. And we were just kind of hanging on. Um, so to finish the game the way we did uh, with the stretch that we've been on, hey, we'll, we'll take the two points. It is what it is. And we needed our goaltender tonight again, just like uh, last night in Anaheim. And we got the job done. So I I'm pretty proud of our group, especially after the way they played the third period after a, what was a pretty rough night for two periods. Well, too bad the third period there. Probably Kubel and Jake the penalty and Jake the box to kill it off. You need to talk about that kill and then the ensuing play from O'Connor and the stretch pass. And obviously, that was a huge goal. Yeah. So I didn't like her penalties tonight. I mean, we took penalties in the offensive zone 200 feet away from our net. Miko trips the guy behind the net. Like, I mean, it's, it's plays that we don't normally make. Um, and even on Kubis, I think we're on a two-on-one. We're on a two-on-one, and he's a third guy joining, trying to fight past the D and catches him with a high stick. And it's like we're on a two-on-one with an opportunity to stretch out a lead, and he takes a penalty. Um, so, but killers came up big. And on that play, if I if I recall correctly, Comfort comes up with a huge block. He goes out to the point. He gets down, big low, puts his skate out, blocks it. It goes over to O'Connor. And he just turns and finds Kubel coming out of the box. Great shot by Kubi to, to snap it by quick. And, and we extend the lead there. So that that's the type of things in the third period that we just, we didn't do in the first two periods. And it's a big play for us. And that's what you got to do. You got to just grind through and make enough plays to try and win the hockey game. Uh, yeah, well, I'm really happy we got four points out of it because we didn't play our best and it was, it's been a tough stretch for us. And there's, but we're, it's not letting up for us either, you know, like we got to get our guys home tonight, get some rest. Um, cause then the games just keep coming here. The, and what, what we have to do is basically find a way to be our best, whatever that uh, version of it of ourselves is from now till the all star break. And then we're going to get a breather again. We'll give our guys. I don't know what it is, six days off or seven days off there and get a couple practice days before we get back playing and then it'll be a sprint to the finish. So um, pretty happy that we're able to keep carving out points, to, you know, through games like this. Says a lot about our group, um, the leadership after the second period to just kind of regather everyone instead of fragmenting and going out on your own, which usually leads to um, disaster. Um, they came together for, for a big third period and locked it down. I know you said in the last couple of years that you love your goal training staff and your friends and all that was your ideal thing, which is right now. Yeah. But moving forward, the stress out of this, you're going to need both of that. 100%. And, you know, it, it, the, the last couple of games is a prime example, or last, you know, week has been a prime example of that. Um, we're going to play tough games, tough teams. We need those guys to be sharp because our team was really good for a long stretch here. And our goaltending was, was good. Some nights, okay. Some others, you know, just average and some other nights, but they're all part of our team. And now we've played two games where our team has been subpar for our standard and uh, our goaltenders have given us a chance to win. And that's what they did last night in Anaheim. We weren't great. Uh, we found a way to score a couple of goals. Goalie was really good in Frankie and then same thing again tonight we weren't great but, but goaltending's part of it you know like we need those guys to step up when we're not at our best especially 
uh, to keep us in games, to give us some life and some hope. And, and that's what they've done. They've, they've given us a chance to win. Big, huge parts of, of the last two wins here on the road. And we're going to need them to be going forward as well. Thank you. You too.